just a little crooked, it could be the cause of something called a deviated septum. One of my favorite doctors, Dr. PJ is here. It's great to I see you. Me too. So we're gonna talk about deviated septums. The funny thing about this one I was saying to you, a lot of people who have had a nose job done before, they mm -hmm. always say, oh, it was my deviated septum, you know, right, before. Right. But there really is such a thing as a deviated Abs septum, right? Absolutely. Yeah. The septum is the cartilage that makes up about two thirds of the appearance of our nose. Okay. And it can be deviated either due to genetic causes. That's just the way the family has. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the parents' nose was that way, so their nose grows the same way. Or it can be the result of trauma. Uh, when you're playing baseball or as a kid, you know, something hits your nose right. and the, the septum fractures and deviates. Or less commonly, it can be due to either cocaine use or something like that, which actually causes the septum itself to sometimes dissolve away. And obviously, it affects the breathing because it's deviated. That's right, right? that's yeah. right. Beyond a certain degree, what can happen is when it moves over to one side too much, mm -hmm. then of course it alters the whole anatomy of the nose. The airflow isn't normal, so then your nose uh, its primary function is to take away all the major particulate matter in the nose, as you can see mm -hmm. there, and also to humidify the nose. So if the septum's real deviated to one side or the other, then the breathing from your nose can actually be impossible. Does it have to be that obvious? I mean, from the photo, you can see that it's, pr it's pretty crooked, or can it be internal? It can be internal. Most of the time, if it is significant enough to affect the breathing, it is visible. Mm -hmm. you know, but then again, most people aren't staring at noses right. all day long. Yeah. I may be able to see <laughs> a deviated septum where the average person sure. possibly couldn't. And so what's the best way to go about it? What, how do you fix a deviated septum? Is it through surgery? It can't, it, you may need surgery. Mm -hmm. The first thing you need to do is check into your allergies. Mm -hmm. So you wanna see either your family doctor or your ENT or your allergy doctor and get your allergies under control with either drops or, or uh, pills. Mm -hmm. And once your allergies under under control, that'll decrease the swelling in your nose. Okay. If once you do that, you still have difficulty breathing, then you need to come see one of us mm -hmm. uh, in order to get that deviated septum fixed. Okay, and what are the plus and minuses of, of having the surgery? Well, the big plus is to have, be able to breathe better. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, if you want your nose fixed a little bit, that can also happen. Mm -hmm. The minus is it can, long term, it can actually affect the appearance of your nose, which some people may not like. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is that if overdone, in other words, if too much of the septum is resected, then the nose can actually become a lot shorter and long term, it may also cause problems. Okay, all right, well, if you have any questions, you can always send those questions to Dr. VJ. You can send it to our website or you can send it to our email address, which is news at ktriple And on that subject line, make sure you put